So when we go abroad, we have to fill different kinds of forms in English and definitely all the forms require names. The first name and the last name. That's the thing. We don't have last name. Seriously, I don't have a last name or a surname or a family name or whatever you call it. To be accurate, most of Myanmar have neither a first name or a surname. We just have our own full name. My dad has his own name and my mother doesn't share any word with him in her name. And my brother has another totally different name and my also doesn't share any one of them. And the more interesting thing is that you can have as many words as you want in your name or it's more like as many words as your parents want in your name. For instance, I have three words in my name. My Both of my parents have two words in their name and my brother and boyfriend each has three word names and one of my best friends owns a four word name and one of my cousins once removed possess a five word name and I have seen a couple of girls in some journals whose names are as long as eight words which is ridiculous I know. It all depends on creativity of whoever name as when we are little kids. Oh and we follow astrology as well. Like if you were born on Sunday, your name has to be studded with one of the five Sunday alphabets. And as I was born on Monday, my name starts with one of the five Monday alphabets and same goes for the rest. So when we make new friends, once we hear their names, we can guess on which day they were born, which is not much useful at all. And not everyone in modern days follow that way. Like, they either go with another way of astrology, like uh, the first word of their name is the alphabet from their fifth day, counting from the day they were born in, the second word from the sixth day, and the last word from the second day. Forget it, that's so complicated, and not every member is aware of that formula. Anyway, we have totally different names in our family, and when people learn that we don't have a family name, they usually ask, how are you going to trace your ancestors? And my answer is no freaking way. I mean, if we have filled up our ancestors correctly in our national identity card form, then we would know that, but trust me, everybody in Myanmar would not be bothered to trace who is their great, 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 great grandpa just to fill up a form. They would just make up their names or I don't know, there are many workarounds for whatever you do in Myanmar. For me, I know who is my maternal great-great-grandpa, but my paternal grandma has no idea who her in-laws were. And I was like, when I hear her response, I was like, huh? Really? Is there such thing that you don't know your in-laws? And I was like, okay, let it be, because nobody really cares they are rude in my country. Of course, there are exceptions. You might want to ask, how about Aung San Suu Kyi? Wasn't she named after her brother, General Aung San? And the answer is yes. But that's very exceptional case. There are a few other examples like Nguyen's daughter is Hima Nguyen, Lumin's daughter is Eori Lumin or something like that. But that only applies to second generation. The third generation may again have totally different kind of names and uh, some ethnic minorities, India residents and some Christians may have their family name and most of the Chinese residents have their own Chinese name with of course family name but their official name are in Burmese. The first part of our unique naming system is that we family do not need to change our name after we get married and we don't really care if our child is son or daughter because no one would carry the so-called ancestors pride by having a surname. And the worst part is like we don't have a family tree. I mean, if the government handles the citizenship and immigration documents very well systematically, and there would be one, but for now, to my knowledge, no. And we kind of have difficulties explaining foreigners that we don't really have a surname. And when we fill up the forms and they just shuffle our names as they want to call, and it's kind of like weird, meaningless, and funny for us. So, yep. If you happen to know any Myanmar, remember not to ask what his or her surname is and they might probably not mind to be referred with their full name or the first or last word of their name. Again, that totally depends on their name structure. So yep, yeah, that's about it and if you would like to know anything about Myanmar culture or tradition or anything like that, just leave your comments below and I try to address in our next videos. Ta-da!